for the new iPad Pros coming out in March time. We've had a new leak just come in showing us the new dimensions of the models. I want to tell you all the details about this and of course, the expected iPad Pro M3 release date and price too. But first, let's do a quick recap in where we are. We have all iPads having the same design language and we also have M1 or M2 chips inside the iPad Air or the iPad Pro range. We got the M2 chipset added to the third Apple device at the end of 2022 and as we went into early 2023, the journey continued on with the Mac Mini getting an M2 chipset and a few other M2 chipsets also came out and then at WWDC 2023, we also got the larger MacBook Air with the M2 inside of it and also the new Vision Pro has this too. Now one other device that still needs an M2 chipset inside it is the iPad Air and that looks like it's going to be coming out in 2024 now. We have also had the release of the M3 chipsets too and the first two devices to get this was the new 14 inch MacBook Pro and also the iMac got a refresh with this brand new chip as well. But for the iPad Pro, by putting that M2 chipset inside it, it has secured its future in still being the most powerful tablet you can buy out there. And it's a great alternative to say the MacBook Air for example, giving you the ability to use it as a laptop alternative with a magic keyboard or to use it as a fantastic creator's device with the magic pencil. So the latest news that we have just got in for the iPad Pros is this report you can see right here. We've been told we're going to be getting new dimensions for the iPad Pro series and as you can see here they are definitely thinner. We're talking about one to one and a half millimeters thinner on the iPad Pro series and also what's quite interesting is actually the whole dimensions are slightly different here on both angles and then also at the same time we've been told that the actual OLED display is going to be made by different suppliers for the 11 inch and also for the new 13 inch model too. And also, you heard me right there about the screen sizes. Now, I'm going to be honest, the increase in screen size is not going to be overwhelming. To be deadly honest, it looks like we'll be going up from 11 inches to 11.1 inches, and also we'll be going up from 12.9 inches to just 13 inches for the iPad's screen size. But this on its own just starts to firm up that a new design iPad Pro is on its way. But something else what's also changing has got to do with upgrade number three. And it looks like these iPads are going to be the first ones ever to have an OLED display inside of them. And just in case you wanted to know, right now we still have just a standard LED in the 11 inch display. And we also have the mini LED in the 12.9. But it looks like both of them will be having an OLED display and this is very similar to what we have with the Apple Watch and also the iPhone right now. So it's going to be great for the iPad Pros to have this to give us an even richer display, improve battery life and overall just give us a better experience. Some even better news that we've actually heard is that actually this OLED display might not cost as much as we thought it really would to begin with. So it might only cost maybe $100 or $200 more than what we pay for the original iPad Pro right now. To go with this better experience is upgrade number four, what is the new M3 chipset to go inside. The M3 chip, as you know, is in that iMac and also in that MacBook Pro and has received a lot of praise for its power and efficiencies. Now it looks like it's going to be coming to the iPad Pro and it will be the first Apple device to have an M3 chipset inside it without a fan to cool it down. And again, this probably means that Apple is going to have to redefine the design of the iPad Pro to invent a new way of keeping it cool cool without a fan and I think this is another big reason to show that a new design is on its way. On top of this though, I do want to say though at this stage, with leaks being early and to be fair any leaks even up to the iPad Pro's release date that I find and show to you guys, a lot of previous leaks for other Apple products have come true but there have been some that sometimes have been misinterpreted based on the facts that leakers have been told. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown and also show you renders based on what we know. No leak or rumour or render is 100 
100% true until we see the final iPad Pro being shown officially from Apple. However, if you are like me and you're also watching this video, then you as curious as I am in knowing what the next generation iPad is going to be like and what it will look like too, and want to know what the latest leaks and rumours are, no matter what they tell us. So then, for the release day, well, we just had the debut of the M3, the M3 Pro, and the M3 Max just come out with a whole load of new Macs. And this means then that the iPads are next to be upgraded, especially in 2023. No iPads got any upgrades whatsoever. The great news is, according to Mark Gurman, as you can see right here, it looks like it's going to be coming out in 2024. And because there's been no iPad updates since around November 2022, to, this is going to be probably the major sort of event we're going to see upgrades to the iPad Pro and it's going to be happening probably anywhere between March and April in 2024 and we'll be able to get our hands on these new iPad Pros with the M3 chipset inside of them only a matter of days later after they are announced. Of course, before this, the Vision Pro has to be released, but once this is out of the way, then the target will be the iPads and the iPad Pro. And the second we got more information when the exact date is going to be, I'll be letting you know on this channel. So then guys, just quickly, I want to talk about the giveaway, what is happening this month in March time at the end of the month. And that is for this MacBook Air that we have right here. And this is no ordinary MacBook Air. This is a spec up one. We have 512 gigabytes of storage inside of it. And we also have 16 gigabytes of RAM, not the standard eight gigabytes. So it's a spec up MacBook Air. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel and it's an international giveaway and all you have to do to enter in is tell me of what technology or apple products you're hoping to buy in 2024 put them down in the comments below and also guys if you are brand new here and you want to know when that live stream is going to be happening for this macbook air at the end of march time make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to know when that actual live giveaway is going to be happening on this channel but sadly, guys, I just also want to say that still there's lots of people still impersonating me, telling you to Telegram, WhatsApp, part with your money for shipping. This is not me at all. You heard me straight here. I'm going to be doing a live giveaway, a live stream on this channel. And that is when we're going to be giving away, announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Air. So if you do get any messages like that, please do ignore them. Or better still, please do report them as you're seeing right here. So next of all, let's do a summary of what the 2024 iPad Pro models are most likely going to provide us. So starting with the iPad Pro M3 11.1 inch display. So the big change obviously is going to be a new design and it's going to be 11.1 inches this time. So it's 0.1 of an inch bigger and it's also going to be an OLED Retina display, the first of it. The resolution is going to come in around about 2,388 by 1,668. And again, this will be a ProMotion 120 hertz panel inside of this iPad. The storage options will start at 256 gigabytes, going to 512, one terabyte, and a two terabyte storage option. And we'll also get that M3 chipset inside of it with 5G connectivity. And it's likely Apple are going to create a new kind of calling system for that M3 chipset and then depending on what storage that you pick you could actually have the choice of 8, 16 or even 24 gigabytes of RAM with this. The body is probably going to be made out of aluminum or aluminium frame body and then there will still be a double camera on the back with a lidar sensor and then at the same time too we'll still have that center stage selfie camera but what will happen with that it'll probably move on to the landscape side. The battery size is also going to probably be around about 7,538 milliamps and then the price for this will probably start for the 256 gigabyte model at 799 US dollars but if you did go for all day at the other end the top end one you're probably going to be costing about 1,499 US dollars for the two terabyte model but then moving over then to the larger iPad Pro M3 so like I said this is going to be slightly bigger again this is a 13 
inch OLED display. So 0.1 to an inch bigger, but the main difference is that OLED technology. It's a retina display and the resolution is going to be 2732 by 2048. ProMotion again, 120 hertz. Storage options the same as the 11 inch, so 256 gigabytes, all the way up to 2 terabytes. Again, M3 technology and then also 5G connectivity and like I said, probably a new calling system to keep that M3 cooler. Again, there will be the choice of probably 8 or 16 gigabytes gigabytes of RAM inside it depending on what storage option you pick but this could go all the way up to 24 gigabytes you never know but there is also going to be made out of an aluminium frame or aluminum frame and then also we'll probably still have a double camera on the back as a lidar um, with that and then also we'll have that center stage selfie camera that will be on the horizontal sort of bar this time or the landscape sort of bar this time round the battery size on this will be almost 10,000 milliamps so it's 9,720 20. And again, the price is starting at the 256 gigabyte model, starts at 1099 US dollars. But most likely, if you go for the top range one, you're typing into kind of a $2,000 category at 2099 US dollars. So that is the summary of specs for the iPad Pro M3. And on top of that, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like the video. And at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.